Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 13 new settings that you should change right now on your device on iOS 13. Now changing these settings of course will help you get a better performance on your device, get better privacy and overall a better experience using your iPhone on iOS 13. So here are 13 settings that you should change right now on your iPhone. Sending a message on your iPhone of course is very simple. You tap right there to create a new message, you add the contact and you add the message right there. But with iMessage instead of just adding the message text you can also add a subject to the message. What you can do is go to settings, go to the messages section and right here we'll find this setting that says show subject field. You can go ahead and enable that and then it allows you to add like a subject to your message. So tap right there to create a new message and you will have here the option to add a subject right there and then you can go ahead and add the message down below. So you have now the subject and then the message underneath the subject. When setting do not disturb on, of course, you won't be disturbed by any calls or notifications or that kind of stuff. But of course, you have probably a few people that are very, very important to you and you don't want to miss their calls. So what you can do is go to settings, go to do not disturb and you will have this section right here called allow calls from and you can choose here favorites. Now what this does is that it will basically allow contacts that are on the favorites list call you at any time even if do not disturb is turned on you will still get calls from these people so of course you have like a few people on your favorites list on the contacts or the phone app and then you will get calls from them even though do not disturb is turned on on your settings app if you go to the privacy section you will see here a list of a few things that of course you can manage from here and you will also see here files and folders if you go here you will see a list of the apps that have access these applications have access to the files and folders on your device so basically the files app all the files that are there these applications have access to those folders and files of course now if you want to disable any of them you can do that so of course you want to leave safari on because you use it to download stuff from safari but if you have like other apps that previously you have granted access to the files and folders you can now disable them simply by going here under privacy and going to files and folders also very very important is to check the privacy for your bluetooth camera and also your microphone so sometimes you basically just install an app and you're on a rush to do something and you will allow access to bluetooth or camera on apps as you might might not want to do that so go ahead and check these go to settings go to privacy go to bluetooth and you will see here a list of all the apps that have access to your bluetooth of course you can enable or disable any one of them from here you can do the same with a microphone you can see all the apps that have access to my microphone here and of course I can go ahead and disable any of them from here just disable them or enable anyone and of course you go back you will have the camera here and also a list of all the apps that have access to your camera so basically if you just go ahead and give grant give access to any app to your camera your bluetooth you do that accidentally you can go back to the privacy section and it will have here bluetooth you have microphone and camera and you can go ahead and change those settings a very cool setting that you can change on your device on ios 13 and previous ios versions as well which i believe a lot of people don't even pay attention to that is found under the contact section so go to settings go to contacts and here we'll find short name now if you go here you can choose what short name you want to see for your contacts so you will have like a few options here of course you will have to first enable short name and then you will have like first name and last in last name initial so it means that it will show you the name the first name of the contact and the first letter of their surname or last name then you can do first initial last name or you can choose first name only or last name only so you will have here a few options of course to choose what you want to see on your contacts list based on the names and of course the last names of your contacts now if you go to your settings and you go to your iCloud account go to find my the find my section you can go ahead and choose which phone you want to use as, as your location now find my is a new app on ios 13. of course it will combine find my friends and find my iphone 
this is a new app so it allows you now to use the current phone that you're on as your location so if you want to use like a different phone as your location you can do that from here so just go to settings go at the top of the settings you will have there your iCloud account and then of course go to find my and use this phone as your location Another very interesting setting that you can change is found under Face ID and Passcode. It's called Attention Awareness Features. Now, what this does is that it will always look for your attention, basically before dimming the screen of your phone, expanding a notification when locked, or lowering the volume of some alerts. Now, I suggest you keep this on. This is very, very cool. Now, basically using your face ID, it will find out if you're paying attention to your phone. So you get a notification and you're paying attention to your phone. It won't just sound loud. It will sound, the sound will be way, way lower because your iPhone knows that you're looking at it. So it won't play like a loud sound. And of course, once you turn your face away from your iPhone, it will also dim the screen. That's very, very useful because, of course, that way it saves a ton of battery. So go ahead, go to Face ID and Passcode and make sure you have attention awareness turned on. There are a few more settings that you need to change under Face ID and Passcode and they are found here under Allow Access When Locked. Now, here is a list of different stuff that you can enable or disable and of course, give permission to someone to have access to them even when your device is locked. Of course, you don't wanna do that, so make sure you go ahead and turn these off as much as you can, go ahead and turn these off. Like, you have stuff like from the control center to reply with message, basically, even if your device is locked and someone gets it, they get a message, they can go ahead and reply with a message even when the device is locked. So go ahead, take a look at these and make sure you disable as many as you can, of course, even just like if you need some of them, make them turn them on, but most of them should be off. Of course, you should have your device secured and not allow access to kind of stuff like this. So go ahead, go to Face ID and Passcode and make sure you turn these off. With iOS 13.2, Apple has added a new feature under Siri and Search. You will find now Siri and Dictation History, which basically allows you to go ahead and delete the Siri and Dictation History. You can do that directly from here. There is also a new addition now under Privacy. If you scroll down to Analytics and Improvements, you will find here Improved Siri and Dictation. Now, here you will have to choose whether you want to send your voice the stuff you say to Apple to help improve Siri and dictation or not. So you don't want to do that. You can go ahead and just disable the switch right here. Another setting that I suggest you should take a look at and of course change some of them is found under Siri and search. Right here we'll find a list of all of your apps and these are basically all the apps that will use Siri will use them to send you suggestions like you have like a bunch of them that probably most of them are not even useful for you so you want to turn these off so like learn from this app you can turn this off right here show in search you don't want to like different apps that you probably don't need that much you don't want to show them on your search or show like suggest shortcuts and all that stuff of course that will only consume battery as siri is working and learning from them in the background so you don't want to do that you go ahead go to siri and search you will find the list of all the apps and make sure you just leave on the apps that you care about and that you need daily so make sure you turn the others off because as i said they will only consume battery and of course decrease performance as siri is always working in the background learning from all these apps another setting that i suggest you should turn off immediately is found under the notification settings so if you go to notifications right here will find show previews now just basically go ahead and choose never now when you leave this to always or when unlocked anytime you get like a message like a dm that's a personal message you will get it on your screen and it will show you a preview of that message and of course you're somewhere at a bar or a restaurant someone will read your messages so go ahead and choose never just go to settings go to notifications show previews and choose never right here under the settings of the notifications you can also find another section called siri suggestions now here you can choose from which apps you want siri to allow 
to send you notifications like series suggestions and that kind of stuff. So you go right here and you will find a list of all your apps. And if you want to allow Siri to send you notifications from all these apps, then you can of course leave them on like this, but I don't suggest you do that because notifications will consume a ton of battery on your device. So just any one of them like that you need, really, really need, you can leave them on. Otherwise, go ahead and turn off all the other ones that you have right here that you probably don't even need to have notifications and not seriously send you notifications from, from them. So go ahead and turn them off. And last but not least is a setting found under sounds and haptics. Now, if you go here, you will have the slider right here of the volume, of course, when you can change the ringer volume, and then you will have change with buttons. Now, some people, I had some people ask me why I cannot change the ringer volume with the buttons on the side. Of course, when you're out of apps on the home screen, they cannot do that. That's because you have this turned off. So if you have this turned off, can see even if I go to the home screen I tap right there up and down it will only change like the media volume of my device if I go here and enable change with buttons then I will be able to change the ringer sound so go to settings go to sounds and haptics and make sure you go ahead and turn on right here change with buttons so that's it for this video guys these are 13 settings that you should change on your device on ios 13 right now a lot of these settings can be found also on older ios versions so that's pretty much it thank you guys for watching don't forget to leave a like and a comment on the video and of course as always don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this thank you guys for watching i will see you on the next one